Shabbat Shalom. Come on, Shabbat Shalom. Oh, there you are. Good morning, Bokir Tov, Shabbat Shalom. It is so wonderful and exciting to share this morning prayer experience with all of you. We hope as much as you can that you will join with us and pray with us. We are excited to welcome a new Jewish adult into the Jewish community. <laughs> So the more you participate and the more you are engaged in this prayer experience, the more we can all settle in, be comfortable, and focus on our prayers rising to into and out into the universe. So this morning we're going to begin our morning prayers with uh, Matovu. It is on page 290, and I will be calling out page numbers that are in blue parentheses. You'll notice there's two sets of page numbers. I'm going to call out the blue parentheses number. So on 290 is Matovu. Anytime we sing anything, if you don't know it, try it. It's easy enough that you could like learn it by the second verse. Matovu, oh halecha Yaakov. Oh, Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Israel. Ma tovu, oh, Halecha Yaakov, oh, Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Israel. We're going to continue on page 293. This section of prayer is called Nisim Bechol Yom. It's just about noticing all the wonderful things and being grateful for all the wonderful things that may go unnoticed in our daily lives. We're going to chant it first in Hebrew and then in English. It's very repetitive, so you can get it and come along on the ride together. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam who has given the mind the ability to distinguish day from night. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam who opens the eyes of the blind. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam who frees the captive. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam who lifts up the fallen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam who stretches the earth over the waters. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam who strengthens our steps. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam 
who clothes the naked. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, who gives strength to the weary. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, who removes sleep from the eyes, slumber from the eyelids. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, who made me in the image of God. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech haolam, who has made me free. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, who has made me a Jew. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, who girds Israel with strength. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, who crowns Israel with splendor. And the last one, Eva is going to lead us completely in Hebrew. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kidashani b'mitzvotav v'tivan l'atov k'divrei Torah. And we echo back to her in the English, Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot commanding us to engage with words of Torah. Adonai, our God, make the words of your Torah sweet to us and to the house of Israel, your people, that we and our children may be lovers of your name and students of your Torah. We praise you, O God, teacher of Torah to our people Israel. Baruch atah Adonai, hamlamed Torah le'amo Israel. Eva is now going to chant some words of Torah and lead us. Elu devarim she'en lahem shiur Shadam ochel perotehem ve'olam hazeh Ve'hakeren kayemet lo le'olam haba Va'elu hein Kibud avaem u'gmilud hasadim Ve'hashkana be'et hamidrash she'harid ve'arvit Vehaknasat orchim uvi kur holim. Vehaknasat kala uvayat hamet veiyun tefila. Vehava at shalom bena dam lacha veirot. Vetamut Torah keneged kulam. And the words mean together join me on page 298. These are things that are limitless of which a person enjoys the fruit of the world while the principle remains in the world to come. They are honoring one's father and mother, engaging in deeds of compassion, arriving early for study, morning and evening, dealing graciously with guests, visiting the sick, providing for the wedding couple, accompanying the dead for burial, being devoted in prayer, and making peace among people. But the study of Torah encompasses them all. We continue this morning singing verses of praise from the Psalms. Hallelujah, as it is on page 306. Please join me. Hallelujah. 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 Together, Hallelujah, 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 The take a shofar, Hallelujah, 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 
Page 312, we prepare for our call to worship. And at this point, if you are able, I ask that you rise. <laughs> Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Yotzer Or Uvare Hoshech, Ose Shalom Uvare Et Hakol, Hameir Laaretz Veladarim Alecha Verachamim, Uvtuvo Mechadesh Bechol Yom Tamid Maase Vereshit, Ma Rabu Maasecha Adonai Kulam Bechochma. Asita, Mal a Haaret, Kinyanecha, Tid Barach Adonai Eloheinu, Al Shevach Maase Yadecha, Ve al Meore or Shesita, Yefa Aruha Selach, Or Hadash Al Tsion, Tair, Venizke, Hulanu, Mehera Leoro, Baruch Ata Adonai Yoser Hamorot. Continue on page 317. We pray responsively. O oh God, inspiration and guide for all, you have spoken in a thousand tongues for us to hear. In every land and every age, your children have heard you and imagined you in separate ways. And yet, O oh God, you are one, unifier of humanity. Together, we give thanks to the sages and teachers who bring us understanding of your will. Gratefully, we recall the lawgivers and prophets the psalmists and sages of Israel, and joyfully we remember that from the dawn of Israel's life, we return to you to find purpose. May the teachings of our ancestors live on in our minds and their passion for righteousness stir our hearts. Help us to live so that our daily conduct reveals the beauty and wisdom of your truth. Baruch Ata Adonai, Aboche be amo Yisrael, be achava. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kevod Malchuto, Leo. Adonai Elohecha, Beho live of ha, Ubeho Nafsheha, Ubeho male deha, Beha you, Hadivarim ha ele, Ashera no he, Mitzaveha, Hayom, all live of echa, Vishinan tom, live on echa, Vidibarta, a bum. Beshif techa, beve techa, uvlech techa, va derech, uv shoch becha, uv kumecha, 
Ukshartam le or al yatecha vehayu le totafo bein enecha uchtav tam al mezuzot beitecha uvish al recha leman tiskeru faasitem et kol mitzvotai vehiyatem kedoshim lelohechem ani Adonai Elohechem, Asher Hotsei Tiehem, Meret Mitroim, Lehiot Lachem, Lelohim, Ani Adonai Elohechem. Adonai Elohechem, Emet. We continue on page 322. We sing important verses from Torah, reminding us to celebrate our freedom and continue to fight for freedom where freedom is not yet available to all. Our next section of prayer is called the Amidah. In a second, we're going to all rise together as one community and stand. Ava is going to lead us in the beginning three prayers of the Amidah, and then we are invited each to continue on our own with our own prayers. Please feel free to use the prayers on the page or the prayers of your heart. Whenever you have completed your section of prayer, please feel free to be seated at that time. Adonai sifatativtach ufiya gitehilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Velohe Avoteinu, Veimoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Velohe Lea, Ha El Hagado, Hagi Bor, Vehanora, El El Yon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vikone Hako, Vizoher Haste Avot, Veimahut, Hot, Ume Vige Ula, Leave Nevenehem, Lema Anshema, Vehava. Melech Hoser, Umoshia, Umagen, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magen Avraham, Ve'ezrat Zara, Ata Giboy Le'olam Adonai, Mehaye Hakol Ata, Rav Lehoshia, Mashiv Haruach, Umorid Hagashem, Mechakel Hayim Bechesed, Mechaye Hako Berachamim Rabim, Zometh Noflim Verofe Holim, Umatir Asurim, Umekayem Emunato, Lishe Neofar. Mi ha 
Mashiach Yeshua, Veneman Ata Lecha Chayot Hakol, Baruch Ata Adonai, Mechaye Hakol.
Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Welcome to Temple B'nai Or. Let's take a moment before we continue and welcome the Torah into our, our service. Let's welcome each other. Turn to the people around you. Wish them a Shabbat Shalom. Introduce yourself to the people you don't know. Welcome to each other. Let's welcome the Torah, Seder Kriyata Torah. Our Torah service is on page 362 in our Siddur, in our prayer book. In all the ways that you're able, please rise. <laughs> Adonai, 
Here, here you are, here we are on the beam of Temple B'nai Or, but I want you to use your imagination that you are at, standing at Mount Sinai where our people received the words of Torah. And our tradition says it wasn't just the people there that day, it was the generations who came before them. And God willing, it's the generations that come after you. So I want you to use your imagination when you see your parents and your grandparents. I want you to imagine going all the way back in time and then, God willing, go all the way forward in time as we, your ancestors, hand this Torah to you, and someday, God willing, you'll be handing it on to the next generations. But it's not, what I'm talking about the Torah, it's not just the scroll, the, the weight of the scroll. I'm talking about the way, our way of life in the world, our gift to the world. But this is a gift to you today that I, I hope that you embrace and live with your full passion. If, 
if you would like to follow along with the Torah chanting, you can take one of these books, the other book in the pews, the uh, Humash or Torah commentary. We are on page 60. Right? No, page 40, sorry. Page 45, sorry, page 45. Begin with Lechacha, our third Torah portion. Before we begin the chanting of the Torah, Eva will introduce the Torah portion with her teaching of, teaching of Torah. This week's Torah portion is Lech Lecha, where God calls Abraham to start a new group of people. To study this portion, I watched a video by Rabbi Emily Shapiro Katz from the Jewish site Bim Bam. I learned about the covenant in Hebrew, a breed, between God and Abraham. The covenant between them is to be passed on to Abraham's descendants, us. We all have a part in this agreement. Abraham gets to be named the father of his people, and God gets Abraham's righteousness and the ability to influence his actions. Even though that is what the covenant really meant, this is a different meaning, and, what, and that's what it really means to me. I realized that what the covenant really meant was that they became partners, lifelong partners. Partners in making their world full of justice and compassion, and to make the people of Israel flourish. To me, it meant that they shared this contract or covenant and it could never be broken. It was kind of like a win-win. And what really makes it special is that Abraham was the only one that God had this connection with. And that makes it extremely rare and important. I learned that Abraham was picked by God for a reason and that reason is unknown. But it seems like it was because he strives to live up to the breed. Even though we really don't know why, they were meant to work together and protect their people. God chose Abraham and Sarah. They chose God. And here I am choosing to continue this breed, this covenant. I didn't start it, but I am bound to live up to it, to live a life of justice and compassion. To fill, fulfill this covenant, I became a Madrahim at this temple, B'nai Or. As a Madrahim, I volunteer with the kindergarten class and spend time teaching them how to thrive in the Jewish religion. I will also pass on this covenant to my gr children, grandchildren, and many more so they can live this life of justice and compassion with me. We're worshiping together. We're not going to applaud. A Ava is our leader in community, not someone that we're just watching. So we don't need to clap. But yes, that was great. This morning we're going to have uh, five aliyot. Uh, the first four, the Torah is going to be chanted by Ava, and then we're going to hear some verses from Rampa Marvin. So for Aliyah one, I'd like to call up and uncle and cousin Anna, Steve, and Marina. Yamdu Chana bat Zlata v'David Pesach Yehuda ben Mina v'Teom Evra bat Esther Mordechai Shemuel Aliyah Rishona. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bakarbanu Mikol Haamin. Vitan Lanu Net Torah To. Baruch Ata Adonai Notein HaTorah. Amen. Amen. Vayomer Adonai El Avram Lech Lecha. Me artecha, umi mola de techa, umi bait avicha, 
אל הארץ אשר אראך, ואעשך לגוי גדול, ואברכך ואגלה שמך, והנה פרך. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת. וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. For Aliyah 2, we called aunts and cousins, Emily, Jessica, and Elizabeth. Yamdu, etel bat Moshe, Mendel, veser reizel. Chana Tzviya bat Moshe, Mendel, veser reizel. Veli Sheva Herschel, verivka, la Aliyah Shniya. Baruchu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leolam vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leolam vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmin, V'natan Lanu Et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Amen. Va'avarecha, mevarechecha, u'mekalelecha a'or, v'nivrechu v'chem, כל משפחות האדמה, וילך אברהם, כאשר דיבר אליו אדוני, וילך איתו לוט, ואברהם, בן המי שנים ושבעים שנה, בצאתו מחרן. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו. ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. For Aliyah 3, we call our parents, Steve. And Sarah, Yamdu, Sarah Malka, Bad Moshe Mendel, Veser Rezel, and Baruch Laliyah Shlishi. Baruch Et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Et Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Haamin. ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. אמן. ויקח אברהם את שרה אשתו ואת לוט בן אחיו ואת כל רכושם אשר רכשו ואת הנפש אשר עשו וחרן ויצאו ללכת ארצה כנען, ויבואו ארצה כנען. ויעבור אברהם בארץ עד מקום שכם, עד אלון מורה, והכנעני עז בארץ. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו. ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. For Aliyah 4, we call now Eva herself. Now, as a bat mitzvah. Ta'amod, abachura bat mitzvah. Adiva sima bat baruch vesara malka. La aliyah, la Torah. 
ברוכו את אדוני המבורך. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר בחר בנו מכל העמים ונתן לנו את תורתו. ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. ויקח אברהם את שרי אשתו ואת לוט בן אחיו. וירח אדוני אל אברהם ויאמר לזרעך אתן את הארץ הזאת, ויבן שם מזבח לאדוני הנראה אליו, ויתק משום ההרע מקדם לבית אל ויית אוהלו בית אל מים וכעם מקדם ויבן שם מזבח לאדוני ויקרא בשם אדוני ויסח אברהם הלוך ונשוא הנגבה ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת והיה עולם נטע בתוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. סימן טוב ומזל טוב ומזל טוב וסימן טוב, סימן טוב ומזל טוב ומזל טוב וסימן טוב, יהיה לנו. סימן טוב ומזל טוב ומזל טוב וסימן טוב. סימן טוב ומזל טוב ומזל טוב וסימן טוב סימן טוב ומזל טוב ומזל טוב וסימן טוב יהיה לנו מי שברך אבותינו ואמותינו אברהם יצחק ויעקב שרה רבקה רחל ולאה הוא יברך את אדיבה סימה בת ברוך ושרה מלכה מי דה גאד הוא בלסט אר אנסטרס אברהם אייזק אין ג'קוב סרה רבקה רייצ'ל אין לאה ברינג בלסינג תא אבה פטופסקי הוא ריץ דה אייג' רספונסיביליטי ואין ווס קולד תו דה תורה פר דה פרסט טיים. אנחנו סלברט דה דדיקיישן דה ברוט יו תו דה סייקרד מומנט טודי. מי גאד וואץ' אובר יו. מי יו פרנס קינטיניו תו רייז יו תו פול אדולט הוד לידינג יו תו אלייף פילד ווס בלסינג. a blessing of Torah, Jewish learning, of chupah, the joy of a loving relationship, and of ma'asim, tovim, of good deeds. May you find favor before God and the entire Jewish community, and together we say, Amen. Amen. And so normally we would move right on forward, but since um, we encourage other members of the family to also engage in learning and to role model that Torah is lifelong, then I'm very honored to invite Grandpa Marvin to chant a few verses as well, the Mafir specifically. And for Aliyah 5, I'd like to call up Ellen, Marvin, Zoya, Leonid, and Sophia. These are all our grandparents. Yamdu, Esther, Rezel, Bat Avram, and Leiba, Moshe, Mendel, Ben Yushua, Halevi, and Eter, Zelta, Bat Sophia, and Anatoli, David, Ben Sima, and Sasha, and Sarah, Bat Chana, David, La Aliyah Chamishi. If you're following along, we're on page 60. ברוכו את אדוני המבורך. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר ברוך אבנו מכל העמים ונתן לנו את תורתו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. אברהם, בן תשעים ותשע שנה, בהימו לו, בשר ארלתו, 
Vishmael Beno, Ben Shalosh Esre Shana, Vahim Olo, Ephesar Alato, Vies Mayoma said, Imo Lavraham, Vishmael Beno, Behorn She, Veto, you lead by eat, Ubia Kesha, Pede Nechar, Imo Lu, Vito. Eloheinu melech alam, Hashem natan lanu Torah demet, Perchaye olam the tabat ochenu, Baruch atah denai, Notein ha Torah. Amen. A blessing for all of those who came up to, to the bima for for blessings. Misha berach avotenu vimotenu Abraham Yitzchak Yaakov, Sara Rivka Rachel Leahu Yevarech et Kol HaOlim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless all of those who have come up to the Torah in honor of God, in honor of the Shabbat. May they merit from the Holy One of blessing, protection, rescue from any trouble or distress, and from any illness, minor or serious. May God send blessing and success in their every endeavor, together with all Israel, and let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you to all the grandparents. And now we're going to ask our parents to give their words of blessing to Ava. Thank you everyone for being here today to celebrate this special day with our family. Today marks such an exciting milestone for Ava in the Jewish religion. Ava, Dad and I are so proud of how hard you have worked to get to this point in your Jewish education. There were lots of uh, obstacles in your religious learning, changing synagogues, and overcoming COVID challenges, but through it all you have been nothing short of amazing. As always, Ava, once you set your mind on something, in this case on becoming, becoming a bat mitzvah, there wasn't even a question in our minds that you would meet and exceed the learning necessary to reach this important life accomplishment. Ava, this day is our time to celebrate you moving into adulthood. And no, adulthood does not mean unlimited access to your Apple Pay. <laughs> Ava, your future is so bright. We love your positive attitude and your determination. We love that you're sensitive yet tough-minded. You spread your kindness. Like you spread your dirty laundry and dishes around your room. Yeah. <laughs> You're very responsible, much more than I was at your age, and you already have a line around the corner from neighbors looking for babysitting services. You're a wonderful big sister to Jake and to all your little cousins. You have a huge heart. And possibly an even bigger mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we are so proud of the volunteer work that you are doing at Temple. Which is weird because you never volunteered uh, for chores around the house. We also wanted to say something about you always being right, but I wasn't sure where to hide that in here, so I'm just going to go out and say it. Ava, all joking aside, we 100% love and support the young woman you are becoming, and this is just one step of your journey. I hope you know how proud we are of you. We hope you continue doing positive things to the best of your ability, and I wish for you is to continue to always have fun laugh and enjoy every moment that life has to offer. We love you and let's party. <laughs> to help us to dress the Torah and hold it, we're inviting Aunt Ella and Uncle Mark. Please, please rise. Oh, 
our Haftarah is on page 60. After, after the chanting of the Torah, we have the chanting of the Haftarah. Haftarah is a reading from the books of the prophet, often reflecting a theme in the Torah portion. Our Haftarah today comes from Yeshayahu, from Isaiah. Our, our Torah portion, as they've chanted, is the calling of Abraham, God beginning this relationship with Abraham. And we fast forward hundreds of years later to the prophet living at a, a time of oppression, but he, remem- he reminds the people in verse 8 on, on page 62, that Abraham You, Israel, are my servant, Jacob, who I've chosen, the descendants of Abraham, the one I love. So we, the the Jewish people, the people descended from Abraham, from Isaac and Jacob and Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel and Leah. This is the the brief that Ava talked about is a relationship not of just commanding, but of love. And that it's what love that binds us to God and God, even in, in calamitous, oppressive times filled with trouble, remembers and is still bound by that love of our ancestors and that love that we then still still holds us together. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Bin Vim Tovim Verasav Edivrechem Hane Emarim Be'emet Baruch Ata Adonai Habacher Batora Umoshe Avdo Uvi Israel Amo Uvi Be'e Ha'emet Vatsede Lama Tomar Yaakov Utidaber Yisrael Nisra Darki Me Adonai Ume Elohai Mishpati Avor Lo Yadata Im No Shamata Elohai Olam Adonai Bore Kitsot Haaretz Lo Yi Af Velo Yi Ga Ein Heker Lid Runato No Te Laya Eif Koach U Ein Onim Otsma Yarbe Ve'afu ne'arim ve'yigau u'vachurim be'kasho yikashelu ve'koye Adonai yachaluim tu'hoach yalu ever k'nechsharim yavrutu Velo ye gau Velo hu Velo ye afu Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melecha Olam. Miyair mi Mizrach, Sedek y Kraehu, Liraglo, Yitain the Fanabio, Yim Ulachim Yart, Yitain Kapar Harbo, Kirkash Nidaf Kachto, Yir the fame Yavor Shalom, Rach Raglop Lo Yavo, Ifa Albia Sa, Kore had a road me rosh. I need an Irish shown. Yet a caronim, I need who Baruch a 
Ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, sur kol haolamim, tzadik becho hadorot, ha'el ha'ne'eman, ha'omer ve'oseh, ha'medaber u'mekayem, she'kol divarav emet v'atzedek. Al ha'torah ve'al ha'avodah ve'al ha'nevi'im ve'al yom ha'shabbat ha'zeh. Shematata lanu Adonai Eloheinu likdusha velim milcha lechavod uletif aret al hakol Adonai Eloheinu anachnu modim lach umevarechim otach yitbarach shimcha befikol hai tami leolam vaed baruch ata Adonai. Mekadesh HaShabbat. Amen. Let, let us turn to page 374 back in our Siddur, back in our prayer book, as we rise. Uh, it was an honor, it was a pleasure to study Torah with you. <coughs> you taught us an important lesson about something that's very central to Judaism, central to our people, this idea of Brit, of covenant. So I want to explore that a little bit more. That we're tied to our ancestors because somehow, as you said, mysteriously, somehow God made this relationship with Abraham, with Abraham and Sarah, our ancestors, and therefore we're, we're tied to that, right? Which, which feels kind of weird to our American individualist lives, right? I'm not tied to those who came before me. I can do whatever I want. But we know that's wrong. We know that we, as Jews, we feel that we're, many Jews, of course, choose to become part of the, people, the Jewish people, the people of Israel. But many of us are just born into this life, just like you're born into this life here in New Jersey, born into this life here. And you know, we are all thrown, as, as the philosopher says, we're thrown into it. We, we, there's so much of our life that's not chosen, right? In, in some ways, that can be quite comfort, comforting. We have a tradition that props us up. We have a community that supports us. We have a history that gives us meaning. And we have a God that our history says loves us because God loved our ancestors. But at the same time, that can be, feel a little stifling because becoming an adult means coming into your own, coming into who you are, who you are called to be. 
which is different than your parents and different than your grandparents and different than Abraham and Sarah. And so today, as you stand up as a Bob McFa, it's like you were hinting at this. It's like you are choosing to enter into the Brit, as you are. And so to be a Jew is to balance that, what you are called to be and who you are because of who our ancestors were. And so we hold those two ideas together, those, who, those two poles together that were pulled by our ancestors and were pulled by who we are, who we're called to be. And when we live our life, choosing to live our life of holiness, you will do it in the way that you are. And you will do it in the way that your community has nurtured you to be, that your parents have nurtured you to be, that your ancestors for thousands of years have nurtured you to be. And so that's the question you ask when you're confronted with a choice, confronted with a choice, as you talk about, of justice, of holiness, of, of bringing more beauty into the world. What is God calling, who, how is God calling me as an individual and as part of the Jewish people? That's a question you can ask when you're on stage in a musical. It's a question you can ask when you're playing field hockey. But it's also a question you ask when you're making choices as you become an adult. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be with? Who, how do you want to live? So our blessing, my blessing to you, that you continue to develop and nurture that person that you're being called to be, your individuality, embedded in this community, embedded in your family, embedded in the tradition of Abraham and Sarah. Beautiful words from Rabbi. I also would like to kind of pull like one little note from Lech Lecha, your Torah portion, which means go, go forth to a land that I will show you where God knows, right? So Rabbi talked about how you're part of a community and you're part of your ancestry. And I have to say that it is remarkable for us who are standing here every Shabbat to really First of all, a shout out to the great grandparent. Mm -hmm. Love to have another generation here. It's wonderful, you're so lucky. And to have a grandparent who's so knowledgeable in Torah and in such an excellent role model to you that Torah is indeed lifelong, that you are just in the beginning of that journey. But I also wanna talk about your contribution to your family's ancestry. To note that most um, kids who join our track of study towards Bar and Bat Mitzvah they start like in kindergarten or third grade or fifth grade, but you came here very new, like last year. And if, if somebody just came here today and didn't see the whole path that you've been through, they would have thought just as much that you would have been here since kindergarten because that's how excellent and wonderful everything that you did up here today. And not just because you're musical and you chant it perfectly and all of that stuff, but you really felt deeply that sense of responsibility. And being a Jew is not without burden. It's, it's, a, it's a complex thing to be. And so you came here, you went forth as Abraham did, fully, wholeheartedly, with your whole personality and your whole family holding you and bringing you forward. And I want my blessing to be about how Abraham, who trusted in Adonai, God said, go, and Abraham went. And so... I'm gonna stretch this a little and say, if God is indeed in every one of our hearts and God is everywhere and in our hearts, I want you to trust yourself and to give yourself this strength that you could do it, that you got this because you do, you have the responsibility, you have the hard work, you have the intelligence, you have it. You just need to trust yourself that you could do it. And so we invoke Together with Rabbi, we invoke God's blessing upon you at this moment. <laughs> May the Eternal One bless you and protect you. <laughs> May God's light shine upon you and be gracious to you.
may you always find God's presence, be lifted up by God's presence, and may God always bless you with shalom, with peace. And we all say, Amen. Amen. There's, there's lots of blessings in our sanctuary today. We want to filter these blessings through the words of our tradition, thanking God for giving us life, for sustaining us, for enabling us to reach this joyous occasion. I ask Ava's extended family, please, to rise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechayanu Vekimanu Vehigianu Lazman Hazeh Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechayanu Vekimanu Vehigianu Lazman Hazeh Went to add some more words about Abraham, about this breach, this covenant that we're a part of. Why, why did God choose Abraham, our tradition asks. So ancient rabbis tell this story. God said to Abraham, Lech lecha, get out of your land, go. Rabbi Isaac says, to what may this be compared? To a person who's traveling from place to place, when, when this person saw a palace full of light, the word in Hebrew is doleket, illuminated, and this person wondered, is it possible that this palace has no one who looks after it? The owner of the building looked out at him and said, I am the owner of the palace. Similarly, because Abraham, our ancestor, wondered, is it possible that this world has no one who looks after it? The Holy One, the Holy Blessed One, looked at him and said, I am the owner of the world. We could look out at our world and see how amazing it is, how beautiful it is, how illuminated it is. And through that, our ancestor Abraham saw the order and the beauty and the majesty and therefore discovered the one who created it all to be. But you can look at it another way. To what may this be compared to a person who was traveling from place to place when he saw a palace in flames. This word doleket, which might mean illuminated, might also mean in flames. This person wondered, is it possible that this palace has no one who looks after it? The owner of the building looked out from in the building, out the window, and said, I am the owner of the palace. We can look at the world in its beauty, in its majesty, in its illumination, and at the same time, we can see, just open a newspaper, and we can see that the world is in flames, the world is falling apart. And Maybe we could discover God within that chaos that we need to, as, as Ava taught us, be part of this breach, a partnership with God to help the owner of the palace out. These are two modalities of it, what it means to be a Jew, what it means really, I think, to be a spiritual person who can hold these both these things at the same time, the majesty, the wonder, the beauty, and to see the flames, the chaos, the destruction, the hurt, the pain. And God is in both of them, and what it means to be a descendant of Abraham is to sit with both those at the same time and live in this covenant of partnership, of love, to rejoice in the world and to repair the world at the same time. And that's why we have Shabbat, Shabbat the day where we step back from the flames 
and realize the illumination. And then tomorrow, we'll jump back into the fire. Shabbat Shalom. So let us begin to conclude our service. Bottom of page 586, back in our Sidur, please rise. Page 287, let's pray. Sorry, 591. May we gain wisdom in our lives, overflowing like a river with understanding. Loved each of us for the peace we bring to others. May our deeds exceed our speech. May we never lift up our hand but to conquer fear and doubt and despair. Rise up like the sun, O God, over all humanity. Cause light to go forth over all the lands between the seas. And light up the universe with the joy of wholeness, of freedom, and of peace. And we think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, those we have drawn into our hearts with our own. The Temple B'nai or family remembers we're in the first month of mourning for Glenn Swatinsky and Elaine Marco. This week marks the yard site, the anniversary of the death, Nathan Annapol, Abner Berkowitz, Samuel Kaplan, George Chase, Irving W. Chase, Harry A. Cohen, Harriet Dorf, Theodore Freed, Norma Green, Mo Grossberg, Adeline Tabachnikoff Heller, Molly Kabakoff, Alan Kadish, Heinz E. Laufer, Ruth Levine, Joseph Liebesman, Edward Lowenstein, Fanny Lowenstein, Leonard Maitland, Anne Matelski, Sylvia Narcez, Dorothy Orgel, Julius Orgel, Lois Paul, Bernard Pearl, Morris Ricken, Sarah Reinfleisch, Richard Rossman, Helen Rothenberg, Eugene Schlesinger, Sidney S. Schwartz, Harry Sherman, Barry Tbachnikoff, David John Weinberg, Irving Jungelson, and Leo Zagarin. If you're remembering someone like to say their name, please do so as I go around. May their memories be for blessing. The Mourner's Kaddish is on page 294. Yitkadal, Yitkadash, Me Raba, Yamad, Divrach, Yute, Yamlich, Malkute, Chayachon, Uvyomechon, Chaye, the Hobet Israel, Bagala, Uvizman, Kariv, Imru, Amen. Yehe, Shme, Raba, Mivorach, Leolam, O Ame, Amaya, Yitvorach, Yishtabach, Yitpaar, Vit Romam, Vit Nase, Yitadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shme, the Kudisha, Rihu. The Ela min kober hata vishirata, Shush pachata venechamata, Dami ran vi alma vi imru, Amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya, Chaim alenu vi alko Yisrael, vi imru, Amen. O se shalom bim romav, who ya se shalom alenu vi alko Yisrael, vi imru, Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us to all of Israel, to all of the world, to which we say, Amen.
conclude with Kiddush on page 604. We invite our family to join us at the table with the wine and the challah. Amen. Share. Together. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Shabbat shalom. Mazel tov. Please come share in the challah. Shabbat shalom. Mazel tov.